Hi, this is Scott Dudley and in this video we're going to take a look at how you can customize the navigation menu in Looker Studio. So navigation menu that I'm referring to you can see here on the left hand side. So let's first of all look at how to set up the, the color scheme. So if we go up the top here to File, Theme and Layout and then into Customize I'll just move this out of the way. If we scroll down to the very bottom, you'll see it says Page Navigation Style. So the first one here is the uh, Navigation Selection Font Color. So that will show the current page that you're on. You can see here it's in teal, which matches up with here. Uh, and then the second option here is for the Navigation Font Color. So that's the other pages that aren't currently selected, which is showing as white. It gives you font selections in here and also the background color as well. So you can customize that however you want. Uh, then if we scroll back up to the top and exit out of this, there's also another option here for layout. And it gives us an option here for the navigation type. So I've got left tab top left and hidden which are all pretty self-explanatory and it's got icons next to them which basically show you where the navigation bar is going to be positioned some people have it up the top here as a tab but most people have it on the left hand side just as i've got it uh, like this so once you've sorted that out then the next thing to do would be to start renaming these pages uh, adding some icons, dividers, and so on and so forth. So there's two ways that you can do that. The first way would be to go up the top here to Page and Manage Pages. Or the easiest way, which I recommend, is just to click on um, this navigation area here and it will take you to Report Pages. So this has been a little bit buggy for me of late. I'm not sure if it's just my computer or if it's an issue with Google, but every time I've tried to play around with this in the last two weeks, it continually requires everything to be done twice or even three times. So it's a little bit frustrating, um, but hopefully you'll get the idea of what you need to do uh, to sort this out. So say if we wanted to change page one uh, and rename it, you click on the three dots to the right hand side and then rename and uh, I don't know let's just call it conversions all right good looks like that one worked um, and then if we wanted to change page two for example click on the three dots again rename and we'll call that pages and there you go it's uh it will require me to do it again And hopefully that stays as it is, yep. So conversions and pages. So you can see that it's changed those over here on the left-hand side. What you can also do is select icons. So if we click on the three dots again, and then click on select icon. So um, seeing as this page is for conversions, let's just say we wanted to use this tick or check mark here. So we click on that, then click on apply and it's doing its usual buggy thing here let's try it again select icon click on that apply and once again it's it's required me to do it twice i've got no idea why it's doing this but anyway so that's work for that one and then this one here for pages it's already got the page icon there but i'll just change it to something else just for the sake of this tutorial um I don't know, let's just click on that one, click on apply. And it looks like it's applied it, excellent. So you get the general idea. Uh, you can change any of these icons to whatever you want. Um, so the other thing that you can do as well is add in dividers. And once again, this was a bit buggy for me as well, but if we click on the plus sign, or sorry, hover, not click, hover over the plus sign down the bottom 
and then if we click on divider it then it added it there then took it away if I refresh here is it going to put it back there you go so I had to refresh and it's back so it's a little bit frustrating um, but anyway there it is there and let's just say that we wanted to put that so it divides the top two pages from the bottom two pages and then if I reopen looks like you can't see it very well that might just be because of the uh, the coloring but it has divided the top two pages from the bottom two pages and then another thing that you can do as well is you can add sections so if we click on section and so if we wanted to drag that up to the top and then oops once again it's being a bit buggy okay so it's up the top there now we can obviously we can rename that section um, conversions and pages there we go um, and then if we wanted to add in another section do the same thing hover down the bottom here click on section Do we have to refresh this again? There we go, so that's back there. Um, we move that down. And let's just say we wanted to get rid of this divider. Once again, I have to move it back down again. And we can delete that divider. We can Just try that again. Is it gone? Yep. All right. So if we wanted to rename that section, we could just call that section two. And once again, it hasn't taken the changes. All right. So it looks like finally we've got there and if I expand that out you'll notice that it has got these two sections okay so these aren't pages that you can click on but they're just separating the first two pages here and then the the last two pages okay um, and I believe you can change the icon for the sections the same way so let's just use the love heart. There we go. Perfect. So you can play around with that, but you get the general idea. So you've got the uh, options down the bottom here for new pages, new sections, for dividers and for headers. And then once you're in here, you can just click on the three dots to the right hand side and you can rename, you can select icons. And you can also move them up and down, um, but usually it's easy to move them up and down just by getting the uh, the four arrows here um, and then just dragging it up or down. So anyway, hopefully that's helpful. If you've got any questions with that, just let me know. Thanks.